Hi, I'm Mark Verona with PrintingNews.com and Wide Format and Signage, and I'm here talking with EFI's Mike Plyer. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Thanks Welcome for coming. SGIA. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So Mike is the Director of uh, Business Development. Did I get that right for Inks? Absolutely. And uh, he's going to talk to us a little bit today about thermoforming and uh, the opportunity. This technology is not new, but it's new to EFI, right, Mike? Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's, this technology is going on probably over a decade. Uh, it's been in the field since 2003. So tell us a little bit about some of the uh, uh, samples that you have and, and what we're going to see and, and some of the applications. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, thermoforming is uh, in some uh, circles are considered kind of dark art. Uh, it's been uh, around since the late 50s. Originally it was introduced. The military used it for strategic tactile maps. Uh, if you all visit the industry today, typically the equipment you will see in today's shops is this very same equipment that was introduced in the 50s. I'm talking about the thermal forming aspects and the design. Uh, as uh, the digital, now today, uh, a lot, most of this market is still screen print. Uh, with the onset of uh, EFI's uh, acquisition of the IP and its technology, digital is having a huge impact on this market. One-offs, short runs, prototyping are now well within reach. Uh, on the other hand, uh, screen printing has a higher level of setup costs. It may take a day or two or maybe even more if the distortions aren't right to produce one sign. This sign could be produced, probably produced in an hour. Um, and the speeds of these machines now with some of the capabilities it's going to have a huge impact on the market without a question. And you were saying that some of the signs uh, that you've done are quite large, right? And some of the super sign market, they may call it hand forming market. I have seen signs that have been 12 feet, 10 feet by 24 feet. Uh, $2,000 piece of plastic. Uh -huh. and, and the raw material part, is it, is it plastic that we're talking about or a, a plastic derivative? Uh, mostly in that market would be acrylic and or polycarbonate. In the POP market, any thermal formable media can be used. And what about a sample like this one here? Uh, uh, this, particular, material? this particular sample is PETG, a very popular material. This is printed second surface, uh, somewhat complicated uh, embossing design. This was printed second surface on PETG, vacuum formed, and uh, at the end of the day, it's, this is the result. To screen print this process here, to do this one sign, you just couldn't do it. There's $2,000 worth of setup cost before you even print your first sheet. In digital, I can have this printed in two minutes. So, once the tool's made, of course. Yeah, yeah. And then, in terms of, you mentioned POP, what are some other uh, end use applications of this technology? Uh, vending applications, uh, dispensing. Most of us stay at hotels and you have the juice dispensers, vending machine, red box, gas station pumps. Uh, gas station market is huge, fast food, drive up, beverage, all, all that aspect. You see it, it's in every day of our lives. We just take it for granted. Yeah, one of those things you yeah. drive by and you don't notice. No question about it. Yeah. Now that I've worked with some of the people from EFI, you become keyed in on it and you realize that it's, we're surrounded by it. Yeah, interesting. It's a fantastic market. Well, thanks for the primer. We're going to have a look around and uh, get, get more acquainted. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much.